Good evening. Throughout today's funeral services, family, friends, the community all coming together to remember Officer Peter Jerving, who was shot and killed in the line of duty just last week. At just 37 years old, he leaves behind his long-term girlfriend, Megan, six siblings, his mom and dad, and countless others who loved him and close friends as well. The long and emotional processional for fallen Officer Jerving concluded at Wisconsin Memorial Park just about 10 minutes ago. The streets were lined with young and old, many holding American flags and paying tribute to the 37-year-old officer as the sun set on his final journey. The silver-colored hearse you see there carrying Peter Jerving's casket was led by men and women in blue on motorcycle and followed by dozens and dozens of squad cars from around our state. Our Ryan Jenkins joins us now live from Wisconsin Memorial Park, where Officer Jerving is being laid to rest this evening. I know this is a private service here, but it's been a very public day of grieving and mourning for this young officer. Yeah, that's right. Good evening. This will be a private service. The procession has just ended. All of the vehicles that were part of that procession are now uh, gone, and the family is now going to lead the hearse back to uh, the burial site, as you can see live here behind me, uh, and they are going to have a private and intimate uh, uh, service and I spoke with the president of the uh, cemetery and they told me that uh, what they're hoping for here is to to meet all of the needs of the family and to allow this time to be a time that is special to them uh, and as you can see uh, the two Milwaukee squad cars are getting ready to lead the hearse back to the uh, burial site followed by uh, the family of fallen officer Peter Derving, who is in that white bus just behind the hearse. So we're watching live now uh, as he is led to his final resting place here at Wisconsin Memorial, going right underneath uh, that American flag that is displayed by a local fire department. And as you mentioned, Charles, uh, all along the procession route, People line the streets to offer support and to pay their respects. And some of these people lined up right outside of Wisconsin Memorial Park, where I'm standing. And I spoke with one man. He lives here in Milwaukee. He stood here near the entrance to the cemetery holding an American flag. And I asked him why he decided to show up to pay his respects in person today. And this is what he said. I know every day when they put on their uniform, um, you know, they're, they're just hoping to come home. So basically, I'm just here to let them know that, you know, their work, their effort, their sacrifice isn't unnoticed. It is noticed. And so back out here live again, the procession is now over. That private burial service about to take place. And Officer uh, Peter Derving is in that hearse. He's being led to his burial site here at Wisconsin Memorial Park. Shannon Charles, I send it back to you in the studio. Ryan, thank you. Well, hundreds of people lined the procession route to pay their respects to Officer Jerving's family and the Milwaukee Police Department. Uh, we find Ben Jordan now there. He's live on Barker Road with the emotions of so many people who are calling this young man, this young officer, a hero. Shannon and Charles, we are live on Barker Road, just about three quarters of a mile north from Elmbrook Church. I tell you, the seemingly endless row of law enforcement vehicles passing by here was just incredibly emotionally, not only for us, of course, but for the dozens of people who came out holding their flags, making signs, little kids giving their salute to the hearse as it passed by. And not only to that, to the law enforcement agencies coming from every corner of this state, even neighboring states, Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, to make sure their department was sending a message to Milwaukee police that their law enforcement agency has their back. Charles and Shannon. And thanks. Well, several people spoke at today's service, including the police chief, the mayor, the District 4 police captain, and some of Officer Jerving's family members. TMJ 4's Jenna Ray talks us, takes us, I should say, inside Elmbrook Church to show us how some of those family members remember the fallen officer's life today. Dear brother, when the time for action arose, you complied with no fear. An early Tuesday morning call. Dear brother, when the city was in danger, 
You answered the radio call. An armed robbery turned deadly. Dear brother, when the world called for a hero, you never resisted. Family, friends, men and women in blue, and an entire community mourning the loss and remembering a hero, Officer Peter Jerving. His smile, dedication to the force, and friendly warmth felt throughout Elmbrook Church Monday afternoon. Thank you, Peter, for being the example of what a man is to be. Thank you for laying down your life for your friends, for being a good partner, a policeman, and a loving cousin. Family extending the positivity and warmth they say Officer Jerving brought to the world. Peter loved life. He loved his life. He loved your lives. He celebrated every day he had with you, his dear brothers and sisters. I know he would have wanted you to remember him that way. His mom and dad sharing hand in faith as Officer Jerving did and spreading that message community wide. My son Peter knew that the job he had was like running on the edge of a precipice. He understood, as do all of you guys out there and gals out there, that every day and every night you go out, you may not return home at the end of it. But Peter ran this race with gusto. I'm Jenna Ray for TMJ4 News. You sure did. Tonight, people across Wisconsin and the country are honoring fallen Milwaukee police officer Peter Jervie. As we remember the fallen hero, Milwaukee's home bridge glimmers in blue to pay tribute to him. You know, I, I'm never very good at putting someone else's pain in perspective, but mm -hmm. that father's eulogy, mm -hmm. I encourage everyone to go back and listen to it in its entirety. It's hard at a moment like this when you're grieving to find hope. Mm -hmm. The father gives you hope. And he helped us, at least while we were watching, to not only remember the life that was lost, mm -hmm. but to recognize, to respect life and the life that we all have been given. His son died doing what he loved. And for that, it gave him some sense. I don't want to say peace because I'm not in his shoes, but it definitely gave him a sense of knowing his son had done what he wanted to do. And I think everyone learned tonight just how much Officer Jervie was loved. Most definitely. Well, if you couldn't attend today's funeral services, one way to show your support is to donate to the Fallen Heroes Fund. The money raised helps support law enforcement and their family after an officer's death or injury. Just scan the QR code on your screen to donate. You can also find a link at TMJ4.com. To see all of today's coverage of Officer Jerving's funeral services, just head to TMJ4.com and you can watch the TMJ4 News streaming 24-7 on Roku and in the TMJ4 News app. Now as we head to break, we want to leave you with some pictures of fallen Officer Jerving with his loved ones doing what he loved. We'll be right back.